What's up you guys, Simpsons Man here, and we just did a review on the newest Simpsons line from Super 7 Wave 2, and today we're going to start opening them up. So stick around and yeah, let's play around with them. So if you watched my previous video, you saw that we had opened up the box that they came in. We kind of just talked about them, did a little review on each one of the Simpsons line from Wave 2 Super 7 Ultimates. We have Bartman, we have Duffman, Hank Scorpio, and Krusty the Clown. But today, we're going to start opening them up because what's the point of having toys if you can't play with them? As you can tell... Half the items in my room are opened, half are not. These are definitely gonna get opened and I'm not sure, man, any, meeny, miny, mo here. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna open. So I think I'm gonna start, and I told myself not to do this, but my favorite one and my favorite character of all time is Hank Scorpio. I actually think I have a Hank Scorpio. Aha, there we go. We got Hank Scorpio way up there, and I just knocked over like five things on the way. We have a Hank Scorpio right here, and we do have another Hank Scorpio, and I'm pretty sure, yep, there he is from Kid Robot. So, today's opening is going to be Hank Scorpio. And the reason why I kind of got these other ones out is because I want to show you the size comparison. So we have Kid Robot Hank Scorpio, which is... I think they're about three inches or so. We have World of Springfield Hank Scorpio, which is, you know, roughly double his size, so five or six inches. And then we have this monster Super 7 Hank Scorpio that we're about to open up here in a second. If you remember my old Super 7 videos from Wave 1, we did the same thing. We talked about each one of them, and then we opened them all up, and now I have them displayed in my Simpsons room. So I'm definitely going to do that with this one. And what better way to start is with the legend, Mr. Scorpion. So, let's do it. Very casual, Mr. Scorpion. Don't call me Mr. Scorpion. It's Mr. Scorpio, but don't call me that either. All right, so I'm going to put just these two off to the side, and we are going to open up Hank Scorpio. So, they do have a little piece of plastic on here that I'm going to carefully cut. I actually do wind up keeping these boxes. I really like the way the boxes are. Um, it, they're all the same, but you know, they do have a little bit of a different back on them. So this one right here is Hank Scorpio. I'm almost positive, and you know, correct me if I'm wrong, he's only appeared on The Simpsons once. Uh, you Only Move Twice is the name of the episode, and it was from Season 8, Episode 2. So we're talking about what is that, almost 30 years ago? Yes, yeah, so it was in 1996, so almost 30 years ago, this one character appeared one time, just one time in the show, and he's got figures. He's one of, like, one of the probably top 10 popular characters of The Simpsons, and he's my favorite character of all time. Like, not including The Simpsons family, but outside of The Simpsons family, he's number one. So we are going to... Open this up, and I can already I can already smell the toy. As crazy as that sounds, it has that like fresh smell. And this is a lot easier almost than Wave One. For some reason, I remember Wave One. The box was the plastic was a little bit weirder to get out, but so far so good. We're gonna close this up because this is gonna probably wind up going in a box up in the attic, and we're gonna actually turn this around now, so you can see this one's open as opposed to these other ones. And I'm not sure how we're gonna do this so let's go ahead and just take them out first I, I, let's go ahead and take out Hank Scorpio just gotta be careful here there we go no oh, you know what I'm gonna put the plastic in there too and probably what I'll probably wind up doing I'm not actually I'm not sure yet um, I think in I think it's over there somewhere I have just like a little Ziploc bag full of all the heads and accessories of wave one and to be honest like I know some people accessorize them and do stuff, but once I kind of set them up the way I wanted it to, I never changed it out again. So pretty much whatever hands he has on, I'm definitely going to have him throw in the flamethrower just because that's the iconic scene of him throwing it. Oh, you know what? 
I just thought about it. Uh, you can't see it. I do have one other Hank Scorpio over there uh, from my friend Stitchy Mart. Uh, she does like hand stitched items and she actually did the scene that I'm talking about that he's doing that. I'll put a little picture of it right here uh, just because I can't really pan the camera. But as you can tell, like, man. Okay, so let me, I'm gonna put him front and center here. Wish there was a way I can kind of zoom in the camera, but you know, I'll just kind of maybe do that with a little bit of editing. But I just wanna show you the trio here of Hank Scorpio. And I'm trying to think if there's any other toys that were made um, you know, like I said, Kid Ro we have Kid Robot, we have World of Springfield, we have Super 7, and now that I'm looking around, you know, they didn't make a Funko, I'm not sure, no, they don't have any over there, and out of the Hamilton sculptures, I don't think they made any of him either, that'll be definitely a Google that I'll have to do, because off the top of my head right now, I can't think of any other ones they made, besides, you know, these three now, but here you go, we have Hank Scorpio, right here so the uh, like the cool thing about the Simpsons toys so let me go back to World of Springfield for a second World of Springfield torso turns a little bit head barely turns hands don't turn but the arms turn up and down and we're talking about toys that were shy of 30 years ago 20 30 years ago now with Super 7 these are articulating everywhere so the shoes turn the legs like you can see the arms they have all sorts of let me put this on camera all those see those notches and everything like they're fully fully turning and every you see you can bend these and shape these in any way you want i like the torso the way it's able to move the arms are able to move like i'm not sure exactly how we're going to do this but let's go ahead and check out some of the accessories we have because I don't, so right here, hmm, let me see here. I think, so it kind of bites that I'm gonna have to pull the arms off. And I remember last time that, or pull the hands off. I remember last time some of the hands were kind of a pain in the butt to do, some were not. But he just has two closed fists right here. So I'm not sure, he just has his fists like this. But we have four other hands, which is kind of odd because I think all of the other ones, uh, you can even just see from Bart Simpson, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's got seven different hands, but then again, he's got a bunch of different accessories. He doesn't have a ton of accessories, but we're gonna kind of see. Um, I kind of want to do the mean. Here, let's go ahead and pop out the heads. So we're gonna pop the heads out first so we can talk about them. So the first one, I don't know what kind of face you would call that. Maybe a kind of a serious face, I guess. The second one is definitely... I thought he was going to be screaming mad, but he almost kind of looks scared. Here, let me... There we go. See, look at him. He's just almost kind of like a crazy look, like a Joker villain type of vibe. This one, though, he's definitely mad. Like, he's here. He's He means business. And I think I'm going to do the mean one. So, let's see... First of all, I did notice, so he's got the backpack, you know, black backpack for the flamethrower. And I don't know if this is going to be very easy. See, look at these arms. Like, you can just move them any way you want. And I love this. Like, you can make him do, I mean, there, there's just different, I, I feel like the hands and the legs, you could probably move in like eight different directions. You could even twist the feet around so he can have, he could be, have backwards frontwards like it's just doesn't there it's just sky's the limit when it comes to these but i guess we're gonna leave the backpack on because i feel like it would be kind of a pain to take off plus the accessories we're about to put on him are he's gonna be using that backpack but let's see here if we can pop this head off okay that wasn't actually too bad so we kind of got the normal version of the head popped off so now, and the head actually moves around a lot, now I'm moving around the stick, we are gonna put the quote unquote mean version on there, so. Uh, see, this is, the only one thing I do not like about these is these are such a pain to put on. I understand why, because you know, the way that they're engineered and built, but damn, like, I almost need to, Nope, I can't even get this dang thing on. I almost need to do a hair dryer because if you get a hair dryer and just slightly heat them up, 
the plastic, not enough to melt it. I think, I don't even know if you could if you held a hair dryer on there for a long time, but just enough to kind of heat up the plastic just to warm it up so it makes it so you can just pop it in and pop it off. Because right now, I'm having a lot of issues putting a, putting a new head on there. And this is my full honest review. Like, I, you know, this is the first time I've opened this up. You saw me cut the plastic. Like, this is my first review. So as of right now, Hank Scorpio is just going to be headless until I can figure out how to put this head back on. Let me see, possibly... Let me just put the normal head back on there and see since that's kind of already been stretched out. Yeah, so that one, that one popped on. I feel like I did that one more. I feel like my popped my shoulder at the same time too. But we're just gonna keep normal, normal Hank Scorpio face on there for now. We'll worry about the two heads later. Oh, get these, put these guys off to the side. And let's go ahead and get some of the accessories out. So the only accessory that I even want to worry about is the flamethrower. So we have the cool flame right here. Nice little probably resin 3D printed flame. I love the way that this looks. This kind of looks like if you've seen my, um, with a 3D printer, I made a Moe's uh, Flaming Mo or Flaming Homer, whatever you want to call it. And the flame on top of it looks very similar to this, but obviously in a lot bigger version. Uh, let's see here. We're going to, I got a little piece of tape right here and the tape is holding the cord that is going to go from the flamethrower to his backpack. And there's actually a hole that should just click in right here. So, come on. I'm doing this correctly, aren't I? Nope, I am not. So, make sure that you're pushing it in correctly when you're doing it. So, I'll put that in a second. I'm having all sorts of issues here. And then we're gonna go ahead and take the other items out. The world's best coffee, or world, I mean, world's, world's best boss coffee mug. Can we get that on camera? Yeah, there we go. His hand's already affixed on that, so we're not going to really worry about this one. I'm not going to use this accessory, but I'm really hoping... Let's go ahead and get the other hands out of here. One, two, and three. So there's two hands that are in the holding motion. I'm assuming that's for the flamethrower. It's got to be. Uh, one that's pointing, one that has the mug, and then the other two hands that he has on, like I showed you earlier, are just two different fists. So we are going to attempt. So this has got to go in that. Like, there's no other other way. So it's kind of simulating. It is, you know, it's going to be holding it like this, and I'm assuming maybe I'm just going to hold it like this. So we're going to take these, these hands off. So that one came off super easy. They usually come off pretty easily, but putting them back on has been a pain and we are going to throw the other hands on there so okay that I, i'm going to twist it just a little bit because they have these little grooves on there and i just want to make sure they all pop in so the hands were insanely easy to do so as you can see I'm kind of put up on the camera right here his hands are open there you go perfect there we go so you can see his hands and we are going to attempt here to, I don't know how, hmm, I don't know how he's going to be holding this so it doesn't look silly, and I almost want to say that it needs to be in this hand because the way that this is shaped, oh wait, here we go, nope, And but this doesn't fit right there, so here's the fun part about recording this and not doing this beforehand, is I have to figure out exactly how this goes because it plugs into the back of the backpack we are going to man i'm like i'm lining it up perfect well not perfectly but i'm lining it up and it's just not wanting to click in and something that i've learned from well probably older toys this obviously isn't an older toy so i'm hoping i probably won't have that issue but some of the older toys that I've messed around with, like the McFarlane ones and stuff like that, you go to put them in these little pieces, and then if you push down too hard, you snap it. And already right now, I'm trying to push it in, but some of this plastic is already starting to kind of peel off a little bit. 
which is kind of annoying because I, all I'm trying to do is push it in this groove and it's kind of going in there but I mean it's it's gonna be going in there enough for, see it and it just popped right out so I don't think we're not gonna really worry about that for now hmm I'm not sure maybe I put the hands on backwards even though I think I don't think I did but let's see here I'm just kind of learning as we go here definitely his hands are not like this because his hands would definitely just be backwards if he had his hand on it it's just holding it like a like a gun you know one hand on it like so and then the other hand on it like so yeah so I'm not sure exactly oh I forgot the flamethrower part there we go so that's pretty cool no he's got the the complete flamethrower my head there we go my wants to focus on my head there but so we have the and it's kind of heavy so I feel like these might be kind of a this might be kind of fun to make it so it can kind of hold up the flamethrower and of course I'm probably gonna log on to Instagram here in a little bit and probably someone has already set this up perfectly and everything fits perfect for them and everything else but I may just not be thinking of something correctly here but if I have it in this hand like that that, that just seems really really silly and I can't have it like this I feel like if I bend his hands uh, we're getting we're getting somewhere here if I could bend his hands a little bit no now nah, see I feel like they're supposed to be <laughs> I guess like like this nah that looks very very silly there you go here's your Hank Scorpio looks like he's trying to shoot a rocket launcher or something I'm trying to make it so he just kinda has one hand down here and he's just you know like shooting it normally like he normally would I'm gonna have to probably figure that out off camera because I could probably spend another 15 minutes of me just trying to figure out exactly how I want to set this up but for the time being um, I don't I, you know I just do not know how to do this yet uh, let's see here where's the coffee mug one put it on there like this take that one off I'm trying to see if this one will go in pretty easily it will so we got the world best coffee mug in one hand and then we can do the flamethrower in the other hand just like so oh, oh see it's so it's so top heavy that piece of um, like the little flame right here is so top heavy that it's gonna be kind of hard for him well, maybe if I do it like this hmm there we go, Mr. Scorpion. I think I, would, I think we might just have it like this. So we might just set it up like this. There we go. Got in focus. And he has the world's best... What did it say? Boss? Yeah. I keep saying coffee. World's best boss. He's got the flamethrower. He looks like kind of like he means business. He's kind of got it up like this while he's holding the coffee at the same time. Maybe, instead of doing the coffee, maybe I'll do kind of a pointing thing, but I'm not sure. I'm just going to keep it like this for now. Um, I mean, you know, like I'm going to set some shots up on Instagram, kind of throw around a couple of different ideas of it. Um, but, yeah, these are excellent. Like, I love these. Like, these, hands down, are the best Simpsons toys that have been made in probably... I don't even know 10 plus years or so and only just because this is these are truly like four collectors like you know kid robot obviously killed it with the Simpsons line they have so many different ones and you can't really see but right here I have a whole entire shrine full of kid robot behind me I think I have like 30 or 40 different kid robot ones um, I got some off on the side over here. I got some right there. I got a few down there. Like, they're all over my Simpsons room because they made so many, but Super 7 kind of took it to the next level, obviously, you know. And I think the uh, Hanks, this Hank Scorpio right here was 
ten dollars i want to say it came in like a blind box it was like maybe 5.99 but it might have been 9.99 for the blind box so i didn't even know which one i was getting and you know obviously i got hank scorpio in one of them um as opposed to this hank scorpio right here that was 55 dollars so you know give or take 60 dollars with tax so they're definitely not just for your everyday hey that looks kind of cool and you pick it up because once you pick up a couple of these super seven ones you're going to be almost 300 dollars in the hole but you know for the collectors not to spend a lot of money um or if you want to spend you know a decent amount of money definitely i would recommend these they're not insanely insanely expensive for a toy they kind of are but it really just depends on your budget if it was up to me and I was just, you know, telling you guys if you should or should not get them. I would, only because these are a one-and-done deal, especially now that Super 7 is not doing anything else with The Simpsons. Once all of these waves kind of go away, uh, these were all pre-orders. I think they have a couple extra left on their store. But after that, I feel like they're going to skyrocket in value just because they're not made anymore. And that's how everything works. You know, they only make a certain run, like 100000 or whatever, of these toys. And then after that, never to be made again. So... That $60 toy might turn into a $200 toy next year. We learned our lesson with Funko Pops. The way up there, I have the original four. Yeah, they might have been five, ten dollars when they first came out. Now they're two, three, four, five, six hundred dollars. So you just never know. The toy market can go up and go down. I know it kind of fluctuated up a lot during COVID. It's gone down just a little bit now, but it's definitely going to kind of stay at the same, or if not, just go back up. But enough about that. That's it. My first opening of the new Super 7 Wave 2 line. Uh, stick around because in the next few days, or maybe, I don't know if I'm going to separate these by a week or maybe a few days, I'm definitely going to be dropping the whole entire line on my YouTube channel. I'm going to be opening up one by one. The next one possibly might be Duff. Uh, I'm not sure. Or, I mean, Duffman or Bartman. The cool thing is about the next three that I'm going to be opening is each one of them is two in one. Oh, I think I just noticed something about the crusty hold on a second i just noticed something about the crusty that i did not notice when i did my initial review and it looks like there's like a robe or something back there it, i see like this big pink robe looking thing so possibly he yeah that's gonna be like a, maybe a pink robe that rusty has rusty crusty has on so I don't know, I just never noticed that when I was doing the first review, but let me just gift a surprise here. But like I was saying, each one of these have another figure. So we have Krusty with Mr. Teeny, uh, we have Santa's Little Helper, and each one of these, uh, we have him ripping up the uh, comic book, and in this one right here, he's Suds McDuff, and he is with Duff Man. But that's the cool thing about it, so you're going to spend $55 technically for two figures for these three. This one obviously is just the one, but excellent we have the side-by-side -side comparison of hank scorpio and world of springfield hank scorpio hank scorpio and we have kid robot one so i'll definitely take a picture of all of these to post on my instagram once i drop the video and as always thank you so much for checking out another one of my videos i'm trying my best in 2024 to be more active on my youtube channel and to keep dropping videos about obviously the things that you love and that is simpson so until next time like Subscribe, all that good stuff, and see ya!